Hey you guys, I thought I'd make you another little exercise. Someone just asked me how you could go about using a drop-down field to navigate through your records. Um, like for instance, I've got a very quick little database that I just uh, made as an example file. Um, and it's a product database and it contains, um, it contains some products. Uh, how would you go about navigating through these by using a drop-down? Now what I usually do is that I put a list button on top and if you click it you go to a different layout which is a list layout that shows you all the products and then you can choose a product from that list and then you will go to that product that way but if, if you would like to use a drop down you can do that as well let's I think there are about like two different ways that you could use to do this uh, off the top of my head that I can think of so let's try them both and let's see which one we like best so if you would like this the first thing we need is our actual drop down let's go to file manage database as you can see i've got one products table with a couple of simple fields very basic let's add another field and let's call it navigation <coughs> let's um, make this a, a text field for now we'll have to change this later on um, and also something what we are going to need to do is make this a global field because we're going to use it as the basis for a find so we're going to double click it go to storage and we're going to say use global storage okay great so now we can go into edit layout we can add our field let's say put it right there from products we want to add our navigation field and we're going to call this one navigate to Okay, now this needs to be a drop down of all our products, so we're gonna make this a drop down list. We're gonna make a new one, and let's say new, let's say products, and let's say use the values from a field products, and let's use the value products. We're gonna include all values, that looks all good. Let's hit okay a couple of times, and let's go into browse mode to have a look. Okay, I've got address, a shoe, and I've got all my products in here, and so that is already working. Now there is one thing that's kind of um, probably a bad idea because my first technique that I would use was, it would be to um, use this as the basis for a find and that's all good with a top hat but with a shoe you could kind of get into trouble because you could have multiple kinds of shoes, you could have multiple kinds of dresses, you could have a summer dress, an evening dress and so you might get into trouble using uh, the actual name as the basis for a find because you could get multiple results and then you're going to end up on the wrong uh, record so that's not a good idea. It's better to use the ID because the ID is unique for every product. So let's actually change this drop down and let's make it show the ID and let's also show the name in a second field and then in the bottom let's say show values only from second field and if we do that that makes a bit of a change when we select a shoe is this field will actually contain the ID number of that shoe so if you go and look at the shoe this actually has the ID number one and so I am now uh, able to look for this shoe and it will show me only that shoe and nothing else um, but this is kind of annoying because I don't want to see a number here this kind of sucks so what am I going to do uh, this one is showing me the correct uh, values, but as soon as I select something, I get a number. If I want to change this, and actually, let's go to File, Manage Database. Um, this navigation field has now actually been turned into an, an, an ID field. Navigation, um, and it's also a global field, so I'm going to change the name. I'm going to change it to G underscore because it's a global field. And I'm going to say product ID. That's what I'm going to call it. <coughs> and it's a number field, so I'm going to change this to number. And I'm going to make that change. So now this is a bit more clear. This is what my field is. Now if I would like to show, um, because this, this now contains my product ID, if I would like to show the correct name for that product, I will need to get that out of a related record. Now I've only got one table. How can I relate this table to itself? Very simple. I'm going to hit those two plus signs and now I've made a second table occurrence. And I'm going to call this one products navigate. 
there and now I've got basically my products table is here and this is also my products table it's just in other instance and now I can relate my global product ID to this ID and then when I go into layout mode I can use on Windows I can control drag this field then I can choose from my products navigate my product name I don't need a label for this and I can put it next to here and then let's have a look if I select something here, my shoe, then this one will also show shoe. This one is also now showing a drop down, which is not necessary. So I'm going to turn this back into an edit box. And now basically I can select whatever I want and the correct value shows up here. Now this is not ideal. I would like to change this a bit. And in order to change this, I'm going to use the trick that I've also shown in another video. Um, I'm going to put this one on top of that one. And then we don't ever really see the ID. We're only seeing the name problem is if I put this one on top of that one and I click this one then I will be in the product field and actually I need to get into this field so what I can do is in this field in my inspector in the data tab I can turn off browse mode for this field but I can leave find mode on and then in this one I can leave browse mode on but turn find mode off so if I ever want to find a product in this field which I probably won't want to do I would still be able to look for the name and not the ID and also when this one goes on top of this one when I click it in browse mode only this one will be available so let's select them both let's put them on let's line them up together and then let's see what this does we're gonna select a shoe and then it shows me shoe here so that's really great I've got an ID number in the background hidden for my user but th that I can use then to find stuff but I'm actually just displaying my uh, shoe here okay so that's step number one how can we now effectively go to that record that we have selected here that's basically a script that needs to be r uh, performed as soon as we select a value here um, let's go and make that script let's make a new script and let's say uh, navigate to product okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to perform a find so I'm going to enter find mode I'm going to uncheck this pause button because I don't want to pause at that moment I want my script to set a value and I don't want to do it manually so I'm going to do a set field I'm going to specify the target field and that's going to be my product ID because that's the number I've got in my G product ID field and that's what I'm going to enter there to do a find now after these I can do a perform find and um, this is the simplest way to do this and we're gonna see that we're still we've still got like a step missing but let's figure that out as we go okay so I've got my um, script now that script needs to be performed when I change the value in here but extremely important to remember is of course that these are two fields and I have to use this one because this is the actual field I'm going to be using to attach a script trigger to that field and a script trigger basically um, uh, performs a script on a certain event now the big question is which event will we be choosing well this is a drop down so we will be clicking it we will choose a value and the moment we choose a value in that field we have modified that field and then basically this script can be performed so we're going to use this on object modify because we could also use uh, one of these two, but that would only work, uh, would that, that uh, script would only be performed when we actually exit this field, like when we click outside of it or something like that. And that's a little too late for me. On object modify, I want to navigate to product. Okay, let's try this out. Let's put these back on top of each other. And let's exit the layout and let's see if this actually works. So let's select a top hat and we have arrived at our top hat. Now if I want to browse to any one of my other products, I've got a bit of a problem because I've got my, I'm stuck with my top hat and I can't go anywhere. And someone who's not very experienced with FileMaker could have a little bit of a heart attack now thinking that all his products are gone, but they're not gone. I'm just displaying one of three records. If I hit show all, this one turns gray again, and then I can go back to visit my other ones. But now every single time I select something here, uh, I will be stuck in this found set and that's kind of annoying but we can fix that we can go to um, here to my script and I can add a from the found set show all records at the end I'm going to close and save this one and then let's try this again let's go for our shoe and as you can see now this remains gray and I can still go to all of my other um, all of my other products Okay, so this is one way to do it. Now I'm going to show you a second way to do it. 
um, because we have our um, product name in here already anyway and because in file manage database we have already created a related table we can also use a script step in FileMaker that's called go to related record because basically what we're doing is we're selecting a product here when we select a product in this table then in through this relationship here that product will be showing up so we can basically go to this product but using this layout that's called go to related record so let's go into our script and let's in fact let's make a new one and let's call this one go to related record and navigate and let's go and get that one go to related record script step we're gonna go to related record from the table we're gonna get the related record from the products navigate but we're gonna be using uh, the current layout or we could just select layout products here <coughs> And then we can choose to show only related records, but then we would again be in that same found set as we were before, so we don't really want to do that. And let's try this out, see if this works. Let's save this script, let's um, move this out of the way, let's get our fields back detached, and let's go to set script triggers. Let's select now the other one, and let's see if this actually does something or not. It's kind of exciting, I don't know what it's going to do. Let's select dress and we go to our dress. Uh, we're still in this layout and we don't have any problem with our found set. So this would be a different way to do this. And using this go to related record script step, you could also show, for instance, a drop down list of other, like your clients or something like that, and then go to your uh, clients layout and show that one selected client. So this go to related uh, record script step can also be used for other related tables, but you could just as easily use the other script to go to that other layout to perform a find, and then uh, the same thing would be happening. So I guess this is a very simple explanation of how you could use this navigate to different records, and um, I hope that this helps you guys out. All right, ciao.